peace and love everyone i hope that you are all having a beautiful day it is absolutely gorgeous outside once again i am super grateful as always uh, as you guys know gratitude is the attitude and uh, today i wanted to talk about why you should never chase the person that you love and you might think that's a little bit weird but it is it is the truth so when you start chasing the person that you desire you are actually causing resistance to the one thing that you want the most the energy that you're putting out is actually resisting energy is contagious it's like a string so people feel it on the other side so that person that you're chasing is feeling that specific resistance and energy from that chase um, think about when you're actually chasing someone in you know physical if you're chasing someone what is the other person doing they're actually running away so the energy you're causing through the chase is actually resistance. When you allow things to flow and you just get in a flow mindset and you open yourself up to love, that's when magic happens. That's when the magic happens. And that happens in all areas of your life. It doesn't just have to be for, you know, chasing the person that you love or, you know, attracting the person that you desire, whatever it might be. It could, ha it could happen for things like money. It could happen for wealth. It could happen for health. It could happen for physical fitness, whatever it might be. You allow yourself to be in the flow state and you allow the universe to just do what it's doing that's when the magic happens now think about this this is a common theme for a lot of people and I know myself hundred percent this happened you know growing up all my life when I was in a relationship with someone it seemed like girls would want me more it seemed like you know girls would be hitting on me and you know messaging me whatever it might be and that's a very common theme for a lot of people. Like I, I've talked to a lot of people that that's happened to. And on the flip side, when I've been single, uh, you know, they're not coming. So it's kind of funny when you're in a relationship, you're more loving. You have a lot more love in your heart. You're emanating that specific energy. Therefore, you are attracting that specific energy. That's why when you're in a relationship, people are coming up to you. People are hitting on you a lot more. And versus when you're single, you know, not a lot of things happen. But the main point of all of this is you have to, first of all, look internally and change yourself before anything will happen externally. As above, so below. Like everything has to happen inside before it manifests on the exterior. So, you know, it's great to visualize. It's great to, you know, know where you're going. It's great to manifest, of course, but you do need to change what's happening on the interior in order for you to see it materialize on the exterior. So if you're looking for love, you need to be in a loving state. You need to be open and attracting love. You need to have a lot of love in your heart. Therefore, you will be attracting that specific type of energy. It goes with everything else, like I was saying before, if you desire you know, uh, unlimited abundance as far as you know, uh, monetary value, riches, money, you need to be in that mindset. You need to change your mental state. You need to change your physical state. You need to change everything around you in order to be receiving these certain things. So it's, I always picture it like, you know, if you're floating down this beautiful rainbow crystallized river, and this river is going to take you anywhere you want, anywhere you want. And, and the, the river analogy is the universe. The universe will take you literally wherever you want. You can have whatever you want in this life. You just have to decide. It takes a little bit of time. It takes a lot of patience, but eventually you will get there. I have literally witnessed this in my life and so have millions of other people using these methods. So if you're in this river and you're fighting it, you're trying to claw your way out, you're swimming backwards, you're not allowing that river to flow, you're causing resistance to the very place it's actually bringing you. So it can be a, a little bit tough for people, especially when it comes to love because you know, I want that person so badly. Like, you know, you, you really love that person. You really want it to work out. But by having so much attachment to the end result and so much attachment to the what if and, you know, what could happen and all that, you're actually causing so much resistance in that specific situation. So I think the main lesson here is just to be in that flow state, just to know that everything will work out for you at the perfect time. The love of your life is also seeking you, but 
and you have to just allow it to flow. I know that with our society, it seems like you watch all these movies and everything, and the guy's always chasing the girl, and the guy always gets the girl, but that's a movie. That's a movie. There's, you know, a lot of times in life that, you know, when, when someone chases someone, and when someone wants someone so badly, it just doesn't work out because they're just causing so much resistance in that specific energy field, in that, you know, attempted relationship. So you just need to be in a flow. You just need to allow it to happen. You just need to trust in yourself and trust in the universe and trust in your heart that, you know, whatever you desire, whatever you put your mind to, however you fix yourself, it will come to you at a very specific and perfect time. And nothing comes to you when you're not ready for it. So I've realized along my journey that when I've been manifesting certain things, they would always come at the right time. They would always come at the perfect time. And a lot of growth and change needed to happen for me in order for me to receive what I was manifesting, in order for me to be ready for it. So it's a big lesson that I've learned in my whole entire life. And that's what really allows me to stay in the flow state and to stay very present because I know that you know everything that I want Everything that I, you know, truly desire in my heart is coming from you. What you what you seek is also seeking you. You know, um, it, it, it's a beautiful thing when you start watching it unfold. And I just truly know that everything that happens along my journey is happening for me, and it's happening for my growth, and it's happening for me to be the best version of me possible. Henceforth, I am ready to accept and ready to, you know, um, do the most good with the things that I am manifesting like if I'm manifesting things like you know financial freedom for example the universe is going to get me ready for that as a person as a soul as a being to be financially free in order to do the best that I can with that freedom it's not just for me I'm not a selfish person you know what I'm saying so like I want to do the best that I can for everyone I want to help as many people as possible and that's what the universe is doing it's getting me ready for these things before it delivers and it will deliver I promise it's going to deliver in all areas of my life it's going to deliver in all areas of your life as long as you're open and willing to receive the synchronicities the messages the guidance and the love and as soon as you're in that flow state everything will happen for you perfectly I promise I love each and every one of you guys you know that um, uh, if you guys like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button greatly appreciate it and uh, share it if you like but for now, we'll, uh, we'll part ways and we'll uh, see you guys soon. Thanks a lot.